All right. So we'll pick up with URL maps and content types. This is the way to create all listing and detail pages if you want um, them to be SEO optimized. Okay. So the first thing you'll do, and this is the same process for all content types, right? Now is, um, let's see if we actually did that on our movie content type yet. Yeah. And uh, here is our URL title, right? And if you remember, we just did a dot parse of this um, application VTL custom fields URL title, okay? And that is referring to a file that, uh, and this is why custom fields are so cool, is that you can have any custom field dynamically react to any other field. It can respond to user permissions, hide fields, show fields, uh, react to a previous, let's say if you were picking a state, then you could automatically in the next field that's a custom field display after that first select list of states in the United States, you could then uh, select, um, you know, counties or uh, cities or whatever you want to do using custom fields, right? Very, very common uh, to have, you know, dynamic fields that react to each other. So this URL title field is reacting and it is sensing the title. And if we look at our content, our movie content here, um, the URL title is building here based upon what we put here, but it's stripping out parentheses, it's stripping out spaces and everything and making something that you could actually attach to the end of a URL and actually reach a page with, right? And the second part, and this is very, very important, on your content type. So let's just go ahead and go straight to the movies there. When you're editing your content type, you need to then define anything you wish as a pattern for your uh, detail page. And this is the way that every single um, movie will be accessible is by forward slash movie forward slash. I could name this anything that I want and it's virtual. It works just like our vanity URLs. And then I pick one or more uh, values. I could have you know, a category here first, you know, and then a forward slash and then a URL title. You could, you could do multiple fields here, but obviously the full path needs to be unique. So that's why I put unique on my movie title and my URL title, right? So we're just going to keep it simple. And um, what happens here with the URL map pattern, whenever you put it on your content type, it starts listening. And if any re request comes in on your uh, host and it begins with forward slash movie forward slash, then it's going to say, whoa, 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 I know this request is a special request. And that means I've got to go to the movie content type. I have to search all the content, see if what comes next in the request is a valid URL title. If so, then I'm going to grab the complete array of all the fields on that one piece of content. I'm then going to go to whatever the webmaster has said is the detail page. And I'm going to throw that into a system variable that will load on that detail page. Okay. So I have departments and movie detail here already mapped. So we are actually all ready to go to start testing our URL mapped content. So what I can do here to instantly test this is go to that news detail page. Here's my new de news detail page. Oh, and it's not my news detail page. It's my departments and here's my movie detail. And I'm going to edit it. And I'm just going to drop a simple widget on the page. So I'll create simple widget and I'm just going to set um, here I'll do something that'll be a little bit nicer than just uh, saying there's an error on the page if they get to it the wrong way. Let's 
I'll open up Text Wrangler here. Do a very tiny bit of velocity as a teaser into our web developer course. I'll go to the content that I want to search for. So I want to search for movies. Maybe I want to modify them by release date. And so that would be, me. Yeah, I guess, release date descending. Now, The Incredibles is not going to pull because he hasn't published yet. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and make him publish. Go back to July. Uh, we want we want three movies in our listing here. So okay, now he's published, and uh, so now we'll reorder by release date again. We want it descending. It makes most sense for a movie listing, right? And um, then I just come down here next to this little search tab and I click Show Query. Okay, I'm going to grab the for each, and this is going to be my if. I haven't reached the page by going to the detail page, then what am I going to do? Okay. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of velocity. Uh, if um, that, and th this is that special variable that your URL mapping will set, um, and that's called URL map content. Okay. That will automatically be set by the listener, by the mapping to the detail page, um, automatically. And the path will be forward slash movies, forward slash the URL title to any of our movies we add. Okay, And it will not redirect to the detail page. Just the detail page has to be smart enough to handle the vanity URL mapped you know, content. Okay, so if URL mapped content, then... Uh, go ahead and give me my URL map content. Else, give me a movie listing. So it's better than saying, ooh, I don't know how you got to this page, right? So I'm going to do the movie listing. Then I'm going to end my if statement. I'll tab this in. And I'll say movie, for each movie in, my pull of movies. And we'll go over this and explain this in detail in our web developer. Then I'll just say um, H2 and I'll do movie dot movie title, right? Movie dot title. And what I can do is I can actually href my movie listing back to this same detail page, right? So it'll give me the actual detail and set my URL map content. The only way I would be able to do that is if I a href equals, and then here I go ahead and do the a, and then inside here, I put my URL map pattern, which would be forward slash movies, forward slash, and then the URL title, right? And that matches the pattern on the content type, which will come back to this page after I click it and load the URL mapped content. So even if they somehow get to this page in some weird way, they, they actually know the path, even though I'm not exposing it in my, um, in my uh, in my navigation menu, still, if they somehow reach this page by random luck, I'm still going to be nice. I'm going to show a movie listing. If they click on one of the movies, I'm going to lead right back here. Okay. Now, if they do hit movie uh, content, then I guess I'll do my movie title in an H2, but I don't need to make it a link. I will set in velocity, I'll set a variable called movie equals my URL map content. And remember that URL map content is the complete content map of the movie itself, right? So then I can do, I don't need to do an href because we're already on the movie, that wouldn't make much sense. 
So I just do movie.title, but this is my detail page, right? So I want my um, p tag description and all of that description. And maybe I also want my release date. And I could keep going with the movie and resizing it and everything like that. Uh, so I'll do just do release date and think everybody will get the point. The rest we'll do in web developer training. And I the the I'm not gonna I'm not gonna date dot format the uh, release date. It'll come out kind of like a, a little bit of an ugly date format, but at least it'll pull. And uh, then later I'll show you the date formatting tools and the and everything like that that's available in the web developer course. Okay, but I'm still going to follow best practices on how do I get this content over to my uh, server. So I am going to um, log into my local host here using WebDAV. I'm gonna connect to the server. I'm gonna do localhost 8080, but I want it in English. Connect. I don't, I pretty much don't develop any other way. And now that that connection is there, I'm gonna save this VTL file directly on the server by saying file and save. And I'll go directly to this guy, localhost and demo. And I'll save him inside my departments folder, because that's where I've got the rest of my pages. But maybe I'll create a um, new directory, if I could see the bottom of my screen. I can't zoom out here. <laughs> All right, well then maybe I won't. Uh, yeah, um, I'll just save it here, and I'll save it. Call it um, movie movie detail dot VTL for velocity template language. Okay, and I'll save it right there by pressing enter. Since I'm too zoomed in to see the bottom of my screen. Um, okay, so I've saved it directly to the server, so I should be able to go here to the server, and now I'll go ahead and put it in a um, VTL file. Here's the movie detail, VTL right here, right? And then new and um, folder and VTL, save. And what I'll do is I'll actually close out of my web dev folder. I'm going to cut him put him neatly into this VTL file, and then I'm gonna parse him on the page. And I'll paste him, move him over here, and now, because I didn't move his location, I think it's better that I just, you know, I close the file, I'll open recent, well, actually, I'll go to open since his, his he changed. And uh, let me just make sure where I am on my host. And departments, VTL, movie detail. Okay, so now if there's anything wrong with this code that I'm gonna parse on the page, I can make an instant change right here and see it reflected immediately. So I'll move that to my other screen. Now I'm gonna parse this on the page that we said was gonna be able to handle this stuff, right? And it's gonna handle the movie listing for us as well. So I'll open this guy up. I'll go ahead and add the special widget that parses widgets. <laughs> um, the VTL include, and then um, um, say uh,
and I'll browse for that file. Go to Departments, VTL, Movie Detail, Save and Publish, and then that parses the code in that file on the page, and now I get my listing because I am actually on the page, and the best way to see this, let me make sure that the page is published. Okay, best way to see this is from the front end, so I'll go to incognito window here, and I'll go to uh, localhost 8080, forward slash, um, departments actually, departments, forward slash, uh, movie hyphen detail, All right, if I remembered that right. There we go. Okay, so we're going to see that URL completely change. <laughs> you know, the second that we click on one of these, it's going to go to movies, and then the URL title for any of the movies, whether I start creating or import a million movies, every single one of those listings will work. So if I click on Ratatouille, it goes to movies. Okay, well, that's not where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go to movie. So that's why I'm in my VTL file. It's supposed to go to movie. File and save. And let me go back and refresh. And now I hit it and it goes to my um, movie detail. And I said I needed to add formatting to the uh, date. But we'll go over that in web developer. And there is my, um, and it's the same exact page, right? I can go to Leon the Professional, there's Leon the Professional, and look at the URL. It's SEO optimized, it matches exactly the content on my page, and that's exactly the way our documentation site runs, by the way. It's one page and one content type that has 700 pieces of content underneath it, and the content is just mapped to itself. It's got a self-join relationship. So our complete documentation site according to Google, has 700 and some odd pages, but it's only one page, one content type that's married to itself, right? So anytime you click on, uh, you know, uh, personalization, and then you go ahead and click on something else, the personalization is parent related to the child, just like we did movies and cast, but this time it's document to document. Right, and then you click on rules, and it loads that you know rules engine, you know documentation underneath. You click on that one, and it keeps loading an SEO optimized URL every single time. All right, so with one page, one widget to rule them all, you can do really, really powerful, cool things. And according to the search engines, um, for every piece of content you create, just by going to the content tab you have a completely new page that's SEO optimized and matches the content on the page, right? Even though this path doesn't exist at all, doesn't matter. You yeah. know, as far as Google's concerned, this is a brand new page on your site, even though it totally is not, right? 